RV base camp in the sunshine. A lot of wind today, but at least we have sunshine. Check it out. Got uh, RV base camp looking pretty good. Got a funnel down here on the ground. Got a few things to patch up, but Forerunner's looking great. Love it. Absolutely love it. Got the pop up looking pretty good. Bunch of stuff blowing off the trees all over everything. As you can probably tell, it's really windy. Look how the trees are all coming out. It's green. There's a dogwood blooming right out there. Looking great. Let's see what we can get into today. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's vlog. I'm trying to decide whether to go camping this weekend or not. It's such pretty weather. I've got the itch so bad. I've got my two of my RC cars loaded up here, ready to go out and have some adventure. Thinking I might uh, just go for like a day trip or either possibly get up early in the morning and go and make a, a day and spend the night and do the whole deal. It's a possibility. I'm so ready to try some of my gear out, check out the setup, drive the full runner. As you can see, it's pretty well loaded down. I may just start out with the hike and uh, riding the RC cars. Might take the tools with me just in case. Do a little organizing while I'm out there and just kind of make a day out of it. You know, may come back late tomorrow evening or, you know, may spend the night. Who knows? That's just the thing, though. I got to go prepared to, to know whether I'm going to spend the night or not. Probably need to start out with a day trip. I'm still out of practice on going anywhere like that. But anyway, just some of the things that I'm thinking about. And I'm hoping today will be a good day. As you can tell, the wind's really blowing strong. It's a 25, 30 mile an hour wind gust today. I lowered the front part of the RV because it was shaking it so bad. But uh, here you can see what it looks like with the front window closed. So, but anyway, I wanted to turn the camera on and uh, and just uh, run some thoughts past you guys and let you know what I was thinking. So uh, we'll get to making a decision. Grab a few more batteries for the RC remotes.
Oh, six more, just in case. I don't really know the conditions of the ones that's in there. For now, just pile them in here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking I'm going to just go for a ride today and maybe go out to the forest and scope it out and run the RC cars and walk a little bit. Need to break some shorts out. I need to get in there and dig my shorts out. It's almost short season. Yay! But I think the first thing I'm going to do is take a ride on the ATV and just take a spin on it, see what's happening on the trails. Might break out the 360 camera. So not really sure, just real indecisive.
All right, folks. Wanted to show you this. I've shown this before, I believe, on a video once before, but it's still pretty interesting. This road I used to ride on the school bus when I was a kid. Uh, the bridge was actually usable and uh, drivable, but now check it out. Just dangling there. The bridge is down. Part of the bridge is right there. And another part of it is over there. As you can see, the road is just give way. It's been like this for about, I don't know, 15 years or more. But I wanted to show y'all this. Really looks pretty now that everything's turning green. That way goes to the main channel of water. And I'm about two miles from RV base camp. Not far at all. But there's some interesting things here that I haven't checked out in years. Uh, it's been years since I've really explored around here a lot, but it's still real windy. These are popping, but as you can see, got a well-established trail going that way. And there's another one up that way. And there's another trail that Really, it's a road, it's drivable, really, uh, it goes this way. So as you can see, it goes on around. And there's some pretty good fishing in this area. Got to have a permit to even be on this property. And that permit usually includes a fishing permit as well, depending on what permit you get. But anyway, I'm going to hang out here for a few minutes and take in the sights and sounds it's real peaceful nobody around nobody here so i'm gonna hang out for a little bit and just uh, enjoy myself yeah this is nice this is very nice just sitting here listening to the listening to the wind whistle and the Leaves blow. And pollen's definitely eating me up. I know one thing. I absolutely love this forerunner. Absolutely love it, man. It is absolutely a dream come true. I mean, it is wonderful. Perfect. It's performed flawlessly since I've had it. I mean, it is really, really blowing my mind how nice it is. I'm trying, this is, I'm starting to slowly come out of this depression, you know, this uh, seasonal depression or whatever it is I've got. Uh, this is definitely helping. 
I don't know I sound stopped up, but I, I sound at least I can partially talk. It has been an extremely tough year. Tougher than I ever thought it would be. And, you know, every year seems to get tougher. This one's like really put the slam the gas pedal on, you know. Take a little walk down that trail and see where it goes. See what happens. So uh, hang in there with me and we'll check it out. All right, let's go for a little walk. I don't imagine it goes very far. We'll check it out and see what happens. I just want to stretch my legs, do something a little different, something a little out of the ordinary. There's a, there's a kind of ball or something. can't believe how wide this trail is. This is amazing. Places going around it, over it, under it, across it, pine trees blocking the blocking my route. Beautiful back in here, boy. Definitely not maintained by anybody or anything. Can't believe how wide the water is right here. This is pretty much it. <clears throat> the trail looks like it keeps going. Spiderweb City. Fair amount of garbage here and there. stream crossing here. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that is some crystal clear water. So out of shape, it's fucking pitiful. Uh, 
gotta start somewhere, I guess. Trails beat down pretty good. I'm about to even touch. <laughs> Just as I say that. I had no idea this trail was here. <laughs> It was a lot further than I thought it did. Amazing. Had no idea it went back this far. Live two or three miles from it. Just goes to show you. Stuff can be right under your nose. And not even know it. Amazing. Got all kind of streams flowing into it from here. There's one coming out of the ground. Look at this. Right out of the ground, baby.
Got a stream going up that way. Somebody's been back in here with a four-wheeler or something. See a tire track. Beautiful. Unfreaking believable. Flowing right into the Bear Creek Lake. <coughs> wow. It's like the trail keeps going. Crosses right there. Amazing. Really cool. Cool little walk. Better than I expected. Very cool. All right. And just like that, we're back. Pretty good little walk. I probably walked a mile, maybe. And I am terribly out of shape. And there's my baby, right where I left it. <coughs> the Beast. I need to think of a good name. All right, folks, got some cheese sticks cooked up and ready to roll. Got some marinara sauce heated up and ready to do some chowing down. These are going to be awesome. Air fried cheese sticks. I love these things. Thought I'd do something different today. But I uh, just want to show you guys what I got. Check it out. Perfectly crisp. Mm. Very good. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys 
what I was having for supper. Really enjoyed my walk today. This has been the craziest weather that I can remember. All right, sun's gone behind the, the hill there. And the wind's died down, just like I kind of figured it would. Now that the sun's going down. But tomorrow's supposed to be a, a kind of a normal day, sunshine, and not as much wind. So hopefully that'll be the case. But it's been a, a good day so far. I've gotten a couple of things done. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. I was wanting to get a few things done anyway. Really enjoyed my walk. And... Just, uh, I, I've got a little bit of supper left. Uh, I've got six cheese sticks left. I may eat them later or save them for tomorrow or something. I'm not decided what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think probably my best bet is to organize my camping stuff first before I try to go camping. It's been so long since I've actually been that I'm so uh, out of organization. It's pitiful. So I want to get my uh, hiking backpack out and all my camping gear out and group it, organize it, make sure I know where everything's at and get it organized before I go, basically. So I may end up doing that around here tomorrow. But anyway, I thought I'd put a uh, <clears throat> try to put a proper ending to this video. If you've watched this far in the video, thanks a lot. Please give me a big thumbs up. And please subscribe down below. It really would help me out. And check back for more videos. Thanks for watching.